여러분 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. Hi everyone, my name is Herzi, and today we're going to be going to a K-pop dance class. Woo! So today I brought along a friend. That's her. Introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Vivian Kim, and I'm from Korea. So yeah, why we've why we're going to a um, K-pop dance class is because you know. One of the biggest aspects of Korean culture that like people all over the world know about is K-pop. Yeah. It's popular all around the world and even in New Zealand, you know, you have Gangnam Style, you have even GD came to New Zealand, you know. Um, so it's definitely a really popular aspect of Korean culture. Um, do you usually dance? Have you ever been to a K-pop dance class before? Yeah, but I suck at dancing. Really? But you're wearing yeah. really like dance clothes today. You're dressed up like an idol today, aren't you? Am I? How about you? Me? Well, you know, I tried to look as much as an like as much as an idol I could today, oh. but you know, no matter what clothes I wear, it's like I'll never look like an idol so I just gave up. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna learn about it a bit more in depth, you know, learn to dance, get some new skills. I'm kinda nervous. How about you? Woo! Okay, see you guys at the studio. So we're now here at um, our dance studio and this is Mitch. Hey. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Mitch. Um, I teach K-pop and hip-hop in my dance class, which is K-pop and hip-hop dance class. And today we'll be dancing to Zico, um, artist. Sweet, so do you think yeah. we're good dancers or anything like that? Uh, do we look like good dancers? Yeah, we look pretty good. <laughs> okay, sweet. Okay. But well, we look forward to learning what you've got to teach us. Yeah, so it's good. What are you doing? <laughs> no, no, mom, 
Mumchi. Mumchi. How do you say Mumchi? Mumchi is like mum means body. So Mumchi means like if you can't dance, call that Mumchi. Do we? Umchi. Umchi. Um means sound. So if you can't sing, you call them Umchi. And then Pak Pak Cha means beat. So Pak Cha is like someone who can like tap the beat. Yeah. She's a she's a Mumchi, guys. Mumchi. There's, there's lots of similarities between K-pop dance and American dance, but I think K-pop dance specifically has its own style. It's more dramatic, I think, and um, the movements are often a lot faster and more precise. Mainly for the dancing, but everything together, the concepts and the vocals and rapping, I just think it's really well produced and it's amazing and really fun to get into. cultures are really liking the K-pop now so I think K-pop is quite there's quite a lot of feeling as well in K-pop like it's about the whole package it's about being able to dance and sing and everything and I really enjoy K-pop as well so I thought um, it'd be great to teach it. So, we just came back from a hard day at the dance studio. We just learnt Artist by Zico at Mitch's K-Pop dance class and now we're just having a light meal. How, do, how did you feel about today? It was, it was so hard, I gave up. I know, <laughs> you did end up giving up at the end, yeah. I thought it was hard as well, obviously, but I also learnt that you were a momchi. Did you guys remember what we taught you? Momchi, pakchi, umchi. Momchi means you can't dance. So yeah, I learnt that she was a momchi. So yeah, um, in Auckland, there's a lot of different ways that you can that you can enjoy K-pop, even if you don't like to dance. So there's a lot of university clubs involved with K-pop. You know, there's Facebook groups out there. So you don't have to be in Korea to enjoy K-pop. And if you're into the dance side, I definitely recommend you come to the class that we went to today. Classes are actually relatively cheap as well. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, you should definitely search him up on Facebook. So that's it for today. We've you know, we've done a lot, we're pretty tired now. So we'll see you guys next time when we do the next activity. Now you get my See you later. <laughs>